dynamicartstore.com to get the cars. Right. Icons, legends, aiming at the stars. Personally, at checkout to save your points. And now your bank account won't be staying empty. empty. Dynamicartstore.com. Right. Use code Hursty. Go on. Hey there guys, welcome back to Hersey Games and welcome to the return of one of my favourite series I think I've ever done on this channel and that is Eze 2 Glory. Those of you that don't know that series maybe weren't here for when we did it on FIFA 20. We get our main man Abire Eze, he is the star in our team and then we use him to build a team with his goals, assists, all of this kind of stuff until we have the best squad that I can make on a zero money spent budget. So that is the point of this series. We're gonna get into it. I'll explain the rules as we go along, but I've got to start my new account with the Eze to Glory stuff on it. So let's get that stuff done. Let's start the new series, let's go. Okay, so this is a completely fresh, completely brand new account. As you can see, zero coins, zero games played, all of that stuff. I've completed a few objectives because uh, obviously I'm, uh, I've got EA Play on this on this console, so it has given me a few things that I've already got to unlock. So I'm going to go through and unlock all of those things, um, and then I've got to somehow get the coins to start. Um, I've got to buy Eze. Obviously, Eze is the first player I've got to buy. Now, one thing I'm going to say while I am unlocking this is I did actually make a mistake when I was first streaming this on the web app. I signed into the wrong account. I accidentally signed into this account instead of my main account when I was first doing it. So I've unlocked all of my starter packs. I've opened those up. I can tell you guys I didn't get much uh, really to shout about. I'll show you the squad that we currently got, but obviously I won't be using those. I will be starting off with bronze players to start absolutely everything. So it'll be a Biriese surrounded by bronze players. But what I've got to do first is I have got to redeem all of this stuff. And then I'll show you what we've got in the club. And then I'll obviously explain um, how we're going to start the series off. Okay, so this is what I've currently got sort of sat in my club. These are all the players and things that I have just sat around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see who's tradable. So, for example, Munier here is tradable. I'm going to sell him purely so I can buy a Bireze. And then I'm going to use as many bronze players as I've got in the club. If I need to buy a couple of bronze players just to get a full 11, then I will do that. But I'm just going to sell a few things just so you understand why there's coins in the club or how, where those coins came from. They're from the starter packs I had from playing on this account last year doing the Eze to Glory. Just so you guys are clear. And then I'll catch you guys up once some things have sold and once I've bought a Bireze. Okay, just to show you straight away, uh, the Lalana Rodriguez that I had have both sold. Um, I accidentally sent Munia to the transfer list instead of listing. I'm just going to list him for like 1.8. I think he goes for like 2k, so just make sure he gets gone nice and quickly. So once all of these guys have sold, I'm going to be buying a Biriese. And then I've got, I think, three bronze players I've got to pick up. So I actually have a full bronze bench and starting 11 minus a Biriese. So I'm going to get those done now. I'm just going to buy the first players that I see. And uh, we start the series from there. Okay, so I have now got the squad ready. Uh, like I said, I picked up the random players to fill the positions I needed. So I picked up a centre-back, I picked up the first striker I needed, and I had uh, an attacking slot on the bench I needed filling as well. Um, so basically what I've done is uh, I've got a currently player right back, uh, right mid, sorry, right back. But otherwise, everyone here is a non-rare bronze on the starting eleven and the bench. Those who don't know the rules, Ibirieze is our main man. He is the player we are looking to get goals and we are looking to get assists with. Now, what I can do with this series is every time I score a goal with a Bireze, I can upgrade a position. Now, I can either upgrade uh, a player from a bronze to a, you know, a rare bronze and then I go to a non-rare silver, rare silver, non-rare gold, rare gold. And if we get there, then we go to special cards. But one thing I want to say before I start this series, previously what I did was, for example, let's say I scored a hat-trick in a game, that meant I could get three upgrades, and I could upgrade one player three times, or I could split those upgrades against different people. One thing I want to ask you guys before I start is, would you rather I upgrade everyone once, and then once I've got everyone to a rare bronze, then I can start upgrading to non-rare silvers. Or am I allowed to still pick and choose who I upgrade where? Let me know in the comments below because I'd rather do it the way you would like to see. I also, the other little additional rules, any assists that a Bireze gets, he can then either get a, a chem style on himself or we can put a chem style on another player. For every win that we get, we get to open up a pack. One thing I'm going to change this year is for every win we get, we can either open up a pack or complete an SBC of our choice. Now, that SBC could be to unlock a pack, which we can then open, or it could be to unlock a specific player that we can then look to save for future times or future, you know, episodes or games or whatever you want to look at it as. But 
that's kind of basically the main rules. So goals equal upgrades. If a Berriete does get a hat trick in a game, that actually gives us an extra upgrade as well. So it's one one goal per sorry one upgrade per goal, but a hat trick equals four upgrades. If that makes sense, every win means that we get to open a pack or complete an SBC of our choice, and that's it. That's all I have to say. No money spent. We just get the coins from games, a little bit of trading in between episodes if I need it to get coins. And at the end of the episodes, I come up with two potential ideas and you guys vote in the comments. There'll be a straw poll. You guys decide which one you want to win. But that's it. Uh, I think without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to have to play our placement games, which are going to suck, I can tell you straight away. But regardless, we're going to get this going. Let's, uh, let's start Eze to glory, man. I'm so excited. Okay, going into our first placement game. Not looking forward to it. We come up against... Okay, good. Well, <laughs> this is going to suck. <laughs> All right, we somehow get the ball nice and early on. We do win it. Look at how slow these players are. <laughs> Can we just appreciate that for a second? Eze trying to take on Mbabu is going to be a difficult one. Oh, this is going to... I can already sense this is going to be such a tr like a tricky game, man. Oh, he's already through. It's He chan He chan doesn't mess up chances. He chans messed up a chance. Is that a pen? I thought I saved it. And now you're telling me it's a penalty. Ref, I have got enough against me this game. I've got a Wooja at centre-back. Can you allow me for one second? My keeper literally is called Innocent. Take it as a hint, Ref. He's done nothing wrong. I've now got to save a penalty. I think he's looking left. I'm going to dive left. He's looking left. Up the boys. Lovely stuff here from our players. Somehow, we're doing the business on this right-hand side. Need to cut it down, though, because there's one man we need to get on the ball. And it's a Birieze. He's going to have a go. Oh, it's a good block. Can we? Come on. Get that ball in there. Eze, lovely turn, Eze! Oh, he doesn't score it! Oh, I thought that was it! It could still be it! No way! Oh, this looks like trouble. Oh, it's trouble. A bronze keeper's always going to be a problem, man. A bronze keeper's always going to be a problem. Right, come on. Let's keep this ball here. Nice possession. Keep it alive. Lovely turn there. Got, I think that's a kanji out of the situation. He has brought himself back into it. Eze now. Come on, Ibire. Abira, you're literally our, our beacon of hope. It's a good save. Can he score that? Oh, the bronze guy's got it. Get in there. I don't think Eze got the assist, but I'll take the goal for sure. I'll take the goal. For, I don't think it counts as an assist, but I'll take the goal. Oh, dear. One pass and he's cleaning through. Innocent's going to try and stop it. Don't be another pen. I swear to God. I swear to... He even messed it up, Innocent, bro. And you've been booked now. Hope you're proud of yourself. For God's sake. Can we save another penalty? Witzel, where are you going this time, mate? Okay, he's not going to Witzel. Right, he's looking bottom right. Now he's middle. Bottom right. He's going bottom right. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Ball out wide with Eze. Going to play it back. And now he's got a chance here. Because I'm... Oh, ref, you can't blow the whistle there. Man, I could be a race through. I'm fuming there. I am actually a little bit miffed at that. But I do have a plan for the second half. Because I'm not going to lie. We're actually way more in this game than I anticipated. So I'm going to move um, Johan to left cam. And Eze is going to play left striker. He's been really, really good getting through. So I think if Eze is actually playing that striker role, I reckon we can get a goal today with Eze. Whether we win, lose, draw the game, I don't care. But a goal with Eze is exactly what we need because uh, that just helps us start to upgrade the team. Realistically, we don't want to get too high up in the divisions because I'll just get smacked about anyway. So I'm not that upset if we don't end up winning this game. All I want is a goal from Ibiri Eze so we can get an upgrade on the board ready for the next video. Oh, see, this is where the problem is. Look at this pace. And I'm not going to bring Innocent out because Innocent will definitely give away the third penalty of the game. We just about get it clear initially. We're not getting that one clear, though. That's a real shame. He has managed to get himself back into the lead. Uh, I don't know who scored it. Uh, it was Sabitzer. So Sabitzer's actually got both his goals. That's a real shame because I don't think we deserve to be behind. I genuinely don't. Eze's on the ball. Plays it off to Tianpeng. Tianpeng now plays it to Eze. Going to play it out wide to uh, Yoan, I think his name is. Yoan. Into Eze. Eze with a finesse at the edge of the box. It's a good block in the end. Can we keep the ball alive just about here? It's a lovely turn in. Abire. Abire. Surely. Abire. Oh, Galaxy with a really good save. We don't keep the ball alive there. That's such a good effort. That's our best chance to score with Abire yet this game. By far. Oh, we win the ball. Eze. Going to cut down on his right. Eze with a shot. Oh, Galaxy with another save. Oh, Eze's getting so close. This could be it. This could be our time. We're doing well here. Eze with a cross in there. Headed clear. And our... Look, I don't know what he's tried there, but he's missed the ball completely. 
Oh, he's through again. DRB chips it over. Innocence on his backside. And that's 4-1. Game's going away from us now. It's absolutely crumbling in front of us. It's such a shame. We've had such a good chance to get something from this. Like I said, even if it was just the goal from Eze, which to be fair here with this run, who knows, actually. Hold up. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Eze, where are you at? It'd be a ray. Please. Oh, it's a pen. Surely. Yes, get in there. His keeper's taken our player at this time. You know exactly what this means. This is our chance. A beer eight Eze. We're going bottom left. No, I should have stuck with bottom right. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself. That was our chance. That's full time. And I'm so annoyed at myself for not scoring. Like, I don't understand how I haven't scored with a beer Eze in this game. We did get a goal with our bronze guy. But I can't believe we didn't get a goal with Eze. I missed the penalty. He had about three or four great saves with Galaxy. I just feel like I should have done better. I genuinely am so, so gutted. Like, how many shots did he have? He had eight shots on target and I didn't score. It's not good enough. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in myself. Okay, well, with no goals or anything to uh, even think about in regards to starting to, to you know, work on team comps for, for building upgrades, we're just going to go straight into our second game. Again, another placement game. Um, again, a good team. Uh, I feel like the other team was maybe slightly better uh, meta-wise. But this is still a good squad, so it's still going to be a tough game. Get the ball here in the middle here with Johan. Johan is going to play it up. Lovely stuff. Going to play it out to Eze. Eze with space, with time. Takes it around the defender. You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Is Eze actually not allowed to score in 21? Is this something I've discovered? Eze's not allowed to... Okay, well, what that pass was awful. With a touch, sorry. But, mate, how? How have I not scored? Lovely turn there from Yusuf. He's going to play it in the middle here to Ndi. In DI, it's going to have nothing to do with Eze, I don't think. We're going to sweat it across. We are going to score. It doesn't have anything to do with Eze, so no assists, no goals, anything like that. But sadly, uh, sadly, but amazingly, we do go 1-0 up. Tian Peng up the boys. Oh, this is a problem. Look at this. Yeah, that was always going to end up in the back of the net. That was a real, real problem there. Fair play to him. 1-1. Tian Peng again. Look at Eze's run here. Eze's run is great. The strike, sadly, he was pushed a little bit outside the box there. Uh, so he didn't manage to really get a particularly clean strike. Because uh, he was kind of facing the wrong way a little bit. But Eze does get the ball on this side now. Can he cut inside? He can. Eze. There it is, boys. Come on. Eze with his first goal of the series. Things you love to see. That means we get at least one upgrade this episode. And guess what? It's not a wasted episode. Let's go. <laughs> Half time, somehow we go in 2-1 up. I say somehow, I think we do deserve some chances. That first block from, I think it was Tomori, when uh, Eze absolutely mugged him off. I can't believe we didn't score that. But now, I have Eze as our left striker, and he's on like the side nearest me, if that makes sense. I don't know about you guys, but I find it way easier to score with a striker on the side of the way you're attacking. Does that make sense? I don't know. Either way, hopefully, Eze, this second half, can get even more involved, more upgrades, better team. Let's go. Going to get the ball forward here, Abiri Eze. Eze, going to keep that ball, going to play it inside, let's see if we can get Eze back into some space here, we're going to play it backwards, Eze now, going to get that ball to Eze's feet, surely, nope, now, here's a chance, Eze, ball at his feet, takes on Tamori, twice, going to strike it, come on, double upgrade boys, things you love to see, just wanted him in that space, with his back to the goal, and I knew we always had a chance to score it, two goals for Eze now, come on, if we get a third, that's four upgrades, and that's huge. Ah, oh, this is a bit of a sticky situation. Innocence tried to come out to it. He's chipped it. Chip's going in because Chip's are very, very overpowered this year. Porto gets himself a goal. I'd really like to hold on to this lead because it means that we can open up a pack or complete an SBC after this game. So winning this would be massive for us, I won't lie. Oh, this is a problem. He's going to chip us again, surely. He didn't, but Innocent just falls over. I'm so gutted to have lost this lead, man. I'm so, so gutted to have lost this lead. But again, when you're against gold players and, and good players... It's always going to be an issue. It's always going to be tricky because, obviously, I've got a bronze squad. Well, that's going to be it. It's going to be full time. Gutted to have lost the game right at the end there. Or not to have won, won the game, I should say, right at the end there. We do get a draw, uh, but we get two goals with a Beria Eze. That is the main thing. Two goals with Eze is actually huge. I'm very, very happy with that. That's, that's massive for us. Two upgrades in episode one. I'll take it. Just want to show you guys again in case you're wondering where these coins are coming from. Obviously, I've got coin boost stuff on right now, uh, but I've got a few things selling. I also have Regani who has moved, uh, so he's worth like five or six thousand coins. So hopefully that'll be a nice little influx of coins early on to help us out with picking up some of these players while we're first doing our upgrades. Uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to work out how 
I want to uh, use my points and stuff that I've got, my upgrades that I've got. I'm going to offer one suggestion that is if we're sticking to the rule of um, upgrading each level at a time. So everyone has to be to rare bronze, then we can start the silvers, etc, etc. I'll do one uh, suggestion that's like that right now. And then I'll do one suggestion that is, um, you know, I can put all the upgrades into one positional, however I want to uh, distribute them. And then from next week, what we'll do is when I offer two suggestions, there'll be a straw poll. Um, and that will suggest, you know, which one that is. I'll know by then whether you guys want everyone to upgrade once and then carry on or, or vice versa. So I'll come up with two suggestions and then we will have a little look at uh, rounding the episode up. Okay, so looking at our upgrades, the first option would be if we put all of our upgrades into one player and that would be Connor Wickham. Uh, so he would obviously get a perfect link to Eze. He would start a striker. Obviously, he's very slow, but he gets Eze onto 10 cam, which would be fantastic to start off with uh, and a good way to start building this club going forward is getting a little bit of chemistry onto a beer ray. So he's, if we're going to put both of our upgrades into one player, uh, that's our first option. The other option is to upgrade two non-rares into uh, two rare bronze players. So the first one I've got is Berengur, is how I'm going to pronounce his name. Uh, he's a French player. He'd come in at CDM for us um, and he would just kind of help add a little bit of uh, chemistry to the team. I might end up playing him at right cam. So this is basically, it's pr he'll probably play right cam. I'm not going to lie to you, looking at his work rates actually. Uh, he'd probably come in at right cam and be left uh, on the right hand side while Eze is obviously on the left. Um, and just to upgrade that side a little bit, he's got good stamina is my main thought process here. The other guy, his stamina was a little bit through the floor so he was very tired in the second half so this guy would come in and boost the stamina tad and then upgrade our right back to an actual right back and again someone who's going to be French and get the chemistry there as well so the, the options are to either upgrade twice uh, into Connor Wickham and have him start at striker for us or to upgrade two of our bronze to non uh, from non-rare to rare so let me know which of those you prefer please let me know if you enjoyed this video the main way to tell me is by dropping a like or leaving a comment down below so feel free to do both those things if you're enjoying the video and are happy to see the return of Eze to glory keep your eyes pinned to the comment section because that is where I'm going to post the straw poll. But for now, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. Hit that sub button if you need the channel and uh, make sure you turn the notification to be told anytime that we upload a video or indeed go live with a live stream. But for now, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome and I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves and of course, wash your hands. What? Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.